Welcome everybody. The NFL Draft is this week. I'm Joe with the Game House. Today we'll be doing an updated mock draft for the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons are on the clock on our 2024 NFL Mock Draft Series. Now we did a mock draft with them before free agency. You can check that out on the channel, but we're doing this now to kind of update what they might do now that there are a lot of things different, including Kirk Cousins as a quarterback. So uh, we'll be using the NFL Mock Draft Database Simulator. I like it because it meshes big boards from around the internet together to make their big board. We'll also be declining all trades. And as you can see here, there are players who fall who will not actually fall in this draft. So we'll kind of go around that and see what we can do. Um, this kind of screws things up, but this is in this NFL Draft. Things like this happen. So uh, we'll try to roll with it. Now, Marvin Harrison Jr. is not falling to eight. So we'll just skip him, even though that could be something you run to the podium for as the best player in the class, in my opinion. Uh, Joe Alt, offensive lineman. There's been a lot of offensive line picks on in the first round before. Brock Bowers, you already have Kyle Pitts. I think the pick here for me is Terry and Arnold. I think he's the best corner in the class on my board. Uh, you get a, a need. You get the defense shored up. Yeah, you could maybe go wide receiver there if, like, one of the top three, I mean, obviously not Marvin Harrison, but probably the other top two um, wide receivers fall. You can go there and get another weapon uh, for Kirk Cousins, even though they do, you know, have Rondale Moore and Darnell Mooney. I don't know if that's necessarily the... I don't know, the, the best wide receiving core, you can definitely improve it. So we'll keep on we'll keep on going to the second round now and see what we can do. And there's quarterbacks, you can take that for the future. You can take an offensive lineman, you can get a linebacker. I feel good with the corner and Terry and Arnold. I mean, let's just do it now. Ad Adonai Mitchell, I think he's a first round pick. Different type of receiver than they have on the roster. Um, I think, you know, Drake London is also a bigger receiver, but Adonai Mitchell, I think, can attack downfield more and has a little bit more speed. Uh, than, than Drake London does. Next one up. Let's go Adisa Isaac out of Penn State. Actually, let's go Braylon Trice out of Washington. I actually, I have him higher on my big board. I think he's a guy who has a lot of strength as a pass rusher. I think he can get to the quarterback. They definitely need more edge rush help. You filled three of your top four needs according to uh, the NFL Mock Draft data, Database Simulator board. And I think that really helps you moving forward. We can continue to improve the defense. We're going to go with one of the guys with one of the best names in the draft, uh, Rook Aroro, the defensive lineman at Clemson. Now, you could have gone to Vondre Sweat. Vondre Sweat's higher on my big board, but he's more of a nose tackle. Rook is more of a just a classic defensive tackle. Uh, I also, to Vondre Sweat, is rumored to be weighing in too much and also having some off-the-field issues, this, you know, specifically before the draft here. So I, I will go Rook here for, for the Falcons. All right, we're going to go Cole Bishop, the safety out of Utah. I really like he can do a couple different things for this defense. I think he can come down and help and run support. He can play in coverage. Maybe not a guy who's going to play single high, but can definitely fulfill a role if you put him in the right spots. Next pick, let's go Christian Jones, the longtime tackle out of tax Texas. Lots of experience over his college career. I think you need a developmental offensive lineman here uh, in the later rounds. I think there's some good ones who will fall, like Christian Jones, who could end up developing into guys who end up starting later in the careers. All right, next one up. They want me to take Tory Taylor, the punter. That is, I don't know, that's against the rules for me, so I don't know. Um, let's see what we got here. We got more corners, more running, uh, more wide receivers, more running backs. Let's do. I mean, I don't want to take a running back after, you know, Bijan didn't get a lot of carries last year with Arthur Smith. Let's end up going, let's go with another wide receiver, Anaya Smith. He could help out of special teams as well. Maybe be playing the slot if Rondale Moore doesn't work out in the way you hope. Uh, but I, I think he's a lot of speed. I think it can help right away. And then with the last pick, let's get some more. All right, let's, let's go Curtis Jacobs, linebacker out of Penn State. Didn't really play up to his potential this past year, but a solid player and probably will be able to help you out on special teams at the very least. So we will start recapping the draft while it finishes up on the simulator. We have Terry and Arnold, the pick at number eight, a corner. Kind of put in a weird spot. Like, yes, Marvin Harrison Jr. would have been the pick, but he's not going to be there. So let's try to keep it realistic here. Uh, Terry and Arnold, the best defensive player on my big board. Good corner. I think he helps you out immediately. Then we go to Adonai Mitchell. Yeah, you have more receivers this year. You have Darnell Mooney. You have Rondale Moore to go with Drake London. But do you believe in those other two with Drake London as much as you might get a first-round pick here, a, a, like your, a first-round value in the second round here? I'm going to Donai Mitchell over those guys. And then Braylon Trice, a good edge rusher, powerful edge rusher. I think they can help him out the, the Falcons pass rush next year. Ruka Rororo, better fit than what Devondre Sweat would have been, I, I believe at least. And, and we'll see how the off-field stuff affects Devondre Sweat. Cole Bishop, the safety out of Utah, good in coverage, good run support. Just don't leave him in single high. 
Uh, Christian Jones, the offensive tackle out of Texas. Lots of experience in college. Let's see if he can develop at the next level. Anaya Smith, slot receiver, and also special teams player that can help you out. And then Curtis Jacobs, the linebacker out of Penn State. Let me know what you think of this mock draft down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.